Hello, crewmates, and welcome to part 6 of my Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now, there is something I need to say first. Oh, oh, very simple. Uh, basically, I can't handle doing four episodes a week on my own. Or at least, recording, editing, uploading, kind of takes a lot of stress. As such, next week will just be Pokemon. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then, if... If, uh... That'll give me time to decide on whether or not to put and the Sims 3 Let's Play on hold for longer. Because I, I honestly can't handle doing four videos a week at this point. Given that each render takes three to four hours to do, and then another two hours to upload to YouTube. It's a lot of work for one video. So, as such, I'm gonna be going back to uh, just three videos a week for a while. At least until I get a better computer and things don't take as long. A lot of the stress is more than likely from getting The Sims 3 recording set up. Because I had to do quite a bit in order to actually get that to work. Let's just say I had several failed attempts at getting the fully set up for that. And that's not fun. Fine, well, use pack! Huh. Sorry, I'm kind of recording these at night. Yeah, I really couldn't think of anything to talk about during the Sims 3 videos either. So I'm thinking I might hold off on that Let's Play until I have more experience making videos altogether, so that it's not boring or anything. I'm not going to be getting rid of that save, though. That will still continue. Oh, great. Okay. I know it has paralyzed. Uh, I've got one paralyzed here. Let's see. Uh, she didn't get a. Oh, also, those of you who have seen the previous episode of this might remember Mudkip was kind of broken. Excuse me. Was kind of broken. As you can clearly see here, Mudkip is back to normal. I, I've got two ROMs of Pokemon Sapphire, one of them turns out to be hacked. So I wound up accidentally loading the hacked ROM last time. But, oh, I have to fight them. But things are back to normal now. And we made it to Rustboro City. So let's head over to the Pokemon Center and get our Pokemon healed. Yes, I would like to risk my Pokemon. But yeah, all I wanted to say was here's the stuff about back to three episodes again next week. Sims 3 might get put on hold in the long run. Either that or 
there's gonna be one less Pokemon episode per week. Either way, I'm not getting rid of either series. It's just that one is either gonna get put on hold, or the other one will get one fewer episodes per week. Sure, you can all handle having just one episode this per week. I mean, two episodes this per week. If I eventually get to the point where I'm doing three different Let's Plays a week, then uh, I'll have one ep in, uh, of those Let's Plays be on Monday, another be on Wednesday, and another on Friday, obviously. And it will always be the same one on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mm, respectively. So, no need to worry there. But basically, Pokemon is going to remain the main Let's Play until Pokemon Alpha Ruby... I mean, Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby come out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, crewmates. Uh, why keep it a secret? The water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me. I'm the water Pokemon expert. I tell you. Fisherman Knight, water Pokemon expert, and Magikarp. I need to catch one of those. You'll. Those of you who remember a certain gym will know why I need to catch one of those. And I know that most of the time people might not exactly consider Magikarp for a Nuzlocke, but I need Gyarados. Because Gyarados gets a Dragon type. I remembered from a previous Nuzlocke that uh, one of the gyms kinda would kick my butt if I don't have a dragon type move. Well, because that gym decides to throw in a dragon type Pokemon out of nowhere, and that dragon type Pokemon isn't weak against the same things as the other Pokemon in the gym. You know what? I think Fleetle can handle this on its own. <laughs> Considering I don't think those Magikarp have anything other than Splash. So... Magikarp, use Splash! Poison Sting. Yep, Poison Sting. And it didn't do much. Fleetle, your attack is really low. What? Did that do even less damage than last time? I can't tell. <clears throat> Sorry about that. adjusting the microphone. Real exciting battle, isn't it, folks? There we go. The fast forwarding oh, never hurts. I thought it wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Bleh. And there I go, messing up the voices again. I got too into fishing. I forgot I had to raise my Pokemon. 
Yes, you did. And back in Rustboro. In XD Fan. With the XD Fan in the items pocket. Hopefully, I remember to use the right. Well, I'm. For... <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about yawning. Hopefully I remember to use the right ROM for the next time. Uh, let's see, what does the Pokemart here sell? Do they sell that item? Which I'm not going to reveal what it is until I buy it. Yes, we'll pay. Uh, no, not one. I need one. No, not five. Three should do it. Hundred steps, that should help. Because that should get me to where I need to go later on. Potions. That's all I can buy, huh? Well, I'll take it. Uh, no, I think I'm good for now. Should I go straight to the gym, or... Uh, no, I don't think I should. Well, I know it's a rock-type gym, so if I put Pungior at the head of the party, I can at least see what to expect level-wise. Let's see. Part ground isn't weak to rock, is it? No, no. It shouldn't be. I think rock is weak to ground. I'm gonna check the level. So, let's see. Pungior, switch out with Fleetle. Alright, let's see what kind of levels to expect here. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Youngster Josh. Geodude. Level 10, huh? That's not too bad. Expect the uh, gym leader to have slightly higher level. Su uh, that was super effective? I barely did anything. And that did more. That did the same amount without being super effective. What's. Is Mudslap really that weak? Geodude miss. I'll have to switch out to... Yeah, she didn't. I think Grass is a bit more super effective against Rock. Either that or at least do more damage. Anytime the battle gets way too repetitive, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Water gun! Okay, I'm staying with Pungior now. No, I'm not switching Pokemon. Geodude, level 8. Water gun. That's much better! Now, we can just blast them. Uh, yeah, I'll switch out you know, to Fleetle, and then back to Pungior. Because Pungior is not going to faint from one more hit. Especially from a level 6. <laughs> Only had an experienced share. Yeah, water gun. And Geodude bites the dust. Ha! <laughs> we win! 
You were too good for me. 96 Poké Dollars. I feel confident enough to switch out one of my starting Pokémon and use a potion on Punchure. I think I can handle this first gym. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne! Honey, you sound just like that other kid. What? No, I don't! Youngster Tommy. Another Geodude. Level 11. <laughs> Maybe I should level a bit more before going to the gym leader. Uh, yeah, definitely should have level more before gym leader. Because as super effective as I am, they can still pound pretty hard. Well, that helped me level. You did tell me. Wow, you've got some potential! You still sound like that other kid. No, I don't! But it's shitty. 158. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about, dude? You're bad. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? Uh, yeah. Don't know what you have to do with that, though. The gym leaders aren't pushovers. I know that. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne is a gym leader that uses rock-type Pokemon. I kinda told... I can kinda tell that, honestly. The rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water-type and grass-type. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader! Well, go for it. Nope, not right now. Should I risk it? Maybe. I could try, I mean... As long as I remember to heal, right? Yeah, I'm sure I won't lose the mud kit on this gym. I mean, Pudgeor. Pudgeor will be just fine. So come on, Pudgeor, let's go get our first gym badge. This could end badly. Would you kindly demonstrate? Would you kindly demonstrate how you know you're battling with which Pokemon? Don't know why. Her, don't know why I gave her that accent, but apparently I did. And now for the boss music. I, well, if I edit the boss music, it's most likely going to be using being a remix done by hey, the talented Glitchex City from YouTube. A link to their channel will be included below in the description. Hey! I for ah man, I hope I win. Oh, what do you know? One hit. That was lucky. And now I'm level thirteen. Man, that was close, I think. Nah, it wasn't that close. <laughs> well, time to defeat Nosepass, right? Pardon. That's not gonna help it. Because Water Gun is special attack. Oh. Well, 
they never said the gyms would be easy. <laughs> Rock throw, huh? Dippadol? Well, I'll just go. That's not fair. Water gun! That was a critical. Is she gonna use another potion? Yes, she is. The Pungior is faster than those packs. So Pungior should still be able to... Yikda! That could have ended badly! Like, really badly! Ah. Uh... <laughs> Stone bad showing up in the corner. And that'll do it for this time, crewmates. Until next time, at ease, crewmates. After she finishes talking, that is. Okay, this is lasting a bit longer than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, now, Addie's crewmates. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. <laughs>